What's going on, guys? It's Jeb. Uh, it's Saturday. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. Uh, I actually woke up and had no idea what I was going to make for a video today until I ended up getting on Twitter and ended up seeing that it's rumored slash confirmed from really popular, incredible sources that have leaked other games and stuff like that. Next title for the next Call of Duty after Vanguard. I know, really early to talk about it. Vanguard's not even out yet. So apparently the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019 is... Uh, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2022. There's a lot of two, so they could do really cool shit with the marketing, I guess. Uh, so basically, it's this game, just the sequel to this one. So I'm trying to like reset my brain, right? I've been around a long enough time throughout the whole thing of like playing COD 4 and then knowing that MW2 was coming out and then knowing like, you know what I'm saying? I'm re-experiencing all of this again with the re-entrance of the Modern Warfare series and if they decide to do with the Black Ops series at some point in the future, I don't know. But basically, I have learned to just accept what's happening. This game, multiplayer wise, it, it just, it was such a really like jarring experience going from like the classic feel of all of the Call of Duties beforehand. I'm talking like there are so many multiple games that behave differently from this game. Just the way that like the rule set is and the way that the spawns work and stuff. It's just completely different. I spent years and years complaining and crying and all this other shit, right? Just whining. I've accepted it at this point. There's no, this was intentional, right? So it's fine. People are willing to accept that. All right, bet. I can't even imagine what they're going to do with Modern Warfare 2. You know, to be completely honest with you, a part of me just thinks it's just gonna be an even better looking, more polished looking version of this game. I don't think fundamentally they're gonna really change much. I mean, uh, hopefully the maps could be, you know, a little bit better. Hey, some color? Hmm? Modern Warfare 2 had a great amount of color. This game, it's very... I don't know, green, gray. It's not the same washed out as like, I would say like World at War or something, but it's super washed out in its own way. I don't know. There's a reason why people have like, you know, 20,000 filters over their game just for visibility and just even overall, just to look at the game. The game needs saturation. The game needs some luminance. Maybe Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it's gonna be so weird calling it MW2 though. Like, see, we can call this Modern Warfare. We wouldn't call it COD 4, right? Because we've always called COD 4, COD 4, not just Modern Warfare. Then once two and three came, it was just like, okay, this is COD 4. Okay, what if, say, Vanguard, for example, right? I, I know people got their opinions about Vanguard, but overall, the flow and the pace of Vanguard is much faster. Even in the 6v6, even in the smallest game modes on there, they're faster than some of the fastest game modes in this. Maybe Modern Warfare 2022 will have, you know, a better pace. Maybe it'll have, you know, more of an identity, more of an idea of where it wants to go, or it'll lean even deeper into the more tactical gameplay. We know it's not tactical, though. They're just sitting there cranking their headsets. I don't really learn the map they just kind of listen. If you walk into a house that you have no idea what the layout is, right? But if you hear somebody walking down a hallway or out of a room or something, you get all of these cues that tells you and gives you a picture of what that would even look like at all. That's not a skill set. You didn't have to learn anything. You just listen. So it is a possibility that, you know, maybe stylistically it could change, but maybe not. Let's just assume, you know, maybe it just doesn't and they just lean further into it or whatever. Man, Damascus 2.0, the, the true Damascus 2.0 might be there. Oh, imagine. Oh, man. <laughs> Charlie Intel says, Hot take, gamers today couldn't handle the MW2 experience of 2009 with how unbalanced it was. It only worked because people didn't care then. Happy Saturday. You're not wrong. 100%. Uh, I don't think if they re-release Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, it would crush all of the other Call of Duty multiplayers. I just know that myself and the other people that played at that time, or anyone else that was willing to give it a chance, would absolutely have fun with it. I'm not saying it would be the greatest game of all time if they re-release Modern Warfare 2, because it's not. Especially with how serious everybody takes this shit now. Like, everybody, like, actually sees this as more of an avenue for whatever. It's more acceptable to even just sit there and grind away at it. The game was unbalanced as fuck, but the thing is, you would just sit there in the lobby and just bully people and make fun of them for them using really bad exploitable things like noob tube one man army noob tube you would bully people so badly to the point to where they either leave or you socially uh, pressure them enough to just not use it no one would be caught dead actually one man army noob tubing no one would post publicly that they do this shit you would be ashamed of yourself now there's just so many people that would probably do it in every single game i mean it realistically probably wouldn't look any different at all the way people react is a Lot different now. I thought that tweet was gonna read out that whole thing of like, oh, they wouldn't survive in uh, MW2 lobbies. It's like, dude, honestly, those lobbies were not good for anybody. They happened. They were terrible. 
but they weren't good for anybody. There's a UFC and the boxing match to, uh, what is it, Fury Wilder? I'm definitely gonna watch that. I mean, holy fuck. That shit's legendary. I've already watched the first two fights and I was hyped as shit. I've never seen a heavyweight fight like Tyson Fury. I I've never seen somebody move like that. Dude is moving better than cruiserweights and shit at that. Uh, dude, he's huge and he moves like that. It's just stupid and, and just sitting there watching wilder fight you have to sit there and like be on the edge of your seat the whole time because you're like it doesn't matter if he's fighting somebody that's clearly technically better than him one fucking punch and the dude's head goes flying into the crowd uh the ufc event it's uh mackenzie dern versus marina rodriguez i think mackenzie dern's got that shit to be honest mackenzie's been pretty dominant recently uh with her grappling and shit i mean marina's dangerous but they both only have one loss i think it's like 11 and 1 versus 14 and 1 entirely sure if these fights are going to be happening around the same time i, I gotta pay attention to that Wilder Fury fight, though. It just it has so many more implications. I mean, the Mackenzie Dern fight is pretty important considering she's like a, a contender at this point, but it's Wilder Fury, though. Uh, I think Fury wins again. Again, obviously, Wilder's not gonna actually outbox him. He's not gonna be more technical than him. He's gonna be hoping to land a giant shot. Tyson Fury has to be perfect for basically the entire time unless he manages to get a finish. I'm gonna assume no one's gonna throw in the towel for Wilder this time. I'm pretty sure he fired the last guy that was trying to literally protect his brain from getting turned into goddamn soup. I'm genuinely hoping that Modern Warfare 2022 just allows me to be able to like, instead of using, you know, the heartbeat sensor, I should be able to just like hear their heartbeat. I think that's a great idea. teammate pushed me out i was trying to jump across and i literally bounce off of my teammate look at this that's crazy. he straight body blocked me Yo, jump one more time, Aladdin. She might text you back. Yo, Jack, you bitch. You're absolute dog shit. You son of a bitch. You fuck you, you fuck you. Uh, so Modern Warfare 2, it, that's the rumor. It seems like it's coming. Kind of already assumed that that was kind of going to be the case. I mean, why would they not make a sequel to the biggest game that they've had since, you know, it was years of like, it was like five or six years of just kind of a downward trend. And then this game... Even if it just threw everything we knew in terms of multiplayer out of the window, it brought in an entire new uh, group of people that quite literally just have a different fundamental understanding of the game. And I accept that. That being said, though, let's just hope that uh, Modern Warfare 2022 is something that's... Uh, I don't know if it would be a good or bad thing, if it would be something that we're both familiar with or not. Uh, this could go really good or really bad.